Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'm going to discuss resolving settings conflicts or applying settings to offline or virtual devices and then applying them to online devices in Wireless Workbench 6. A nice feature of Wireless Workbench is that you can build up inventories of offline or virtual devices, basically fake devices. Um, and with those fake devices, you can pre-configure things like channel name, group and channel, or frequency all ahead of time without needing to be next to or connected to the equipment. The benefit of this is you can do all of your configuration before the show, show up to the venue and plug Workbench in and apply all of those settings you've worked hard to figure out directly to the equipment through the network. So what I've got in my inventory here is uh, a ULXD quad in the X53 band, and I've already done some configuration ahead of time. Uh, I've named channels accordingly, and I've done a frequency coordination to pick frequencies I want for my show tomorrow. So you can imagine, uh, with this offline device already pre-configured, all I need to do is connect to my network of gear, let's say the day of the show, and what I want to do in order to get my actual equipment, the, the physical devices configured properly, is just apply the settings from this offline device to the online device. Now you'll notice when I connect to the network, I've discovered my ULXD quad, there it is, but it's just in some default configuration. All the channel names are defaulted and the frequencies are arbitrarily in group one. So what I want to do is basically copy the settings from each of these channels of the offline device onto the online device. Now you could do this manually, but uh, the whole purpose of this feature is to show you how you can automatically resolve a settings conflict between these two devices. So what we need to do is tell Wireless Workbench, these aren't two devices, they really should be the same device. So the way that I can do that manually is by clicking and dragging any of the channels from the offline device onto the online device, or vice versa. But when I click and drag, you'll see as I'm hovering over, a yellow border appears over the sort of target channel I'm going to drop things on. And when I do that and let go, the settings conflict dialog pops up. And what this dialog is telling me is, hey, you've got two devices, they're basically the same, but one is online and one is offline, and there are differences in the settings between them. Which settings do you want to keep? And at a high level, I can choose to keep all of the settings from the online device or all of the settings from wireless workbenches offline configuration. And in this case, I don't care what the settings are on the online device. This just came off the rental truck and I don't know what's configured there. I want to keep all of my wireless workbench settings from the offline device. So it's as simple as ensuring that I select from wireless workbench and apply to all. And what you'll notice is when I apply that, there, aren't, there are no longer two ULXD quads. There's only one and it's the online one. You can see with that green bar there, but all of my settings from the offline device are all lined up right there. The frequencies I coordinated have been persistent as well as all the channel names. So this is a really easy way to set up systems ahead of time and then when you get to the venue, quickly apply all of those parameters to your online devices once you've connected things.